Call me Sonic because I'm undefeatable. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Shadow Force, and right now I want to talk about Sonic Frontiers. Mainly the updates that are going to be coming down the line. As for anyone who's played Sonic Frontiers, already know about the roadmap for 2023, with three major updates coming throughout the year. We already have the first one from back in March called Speed, Sights, and Sounds update that included the Battle Rush, the Jukebox, and the Challenge mode. But now, I want to talk about uh, the updates for potentially num uh, Update 2 and also Update 3. For Update 2, there has been... Uh, it's been confirmed that in Update 2, the Spin Dash is making a return to Sonic Frontiers, which is going to be the first time the Spin Dash has made a reappearance in a 3D Sonic game since Sonic Lost the World and Sonic 06. For the second update, there are, if you look at the roadmap for 2023, the second update says there's going to be a celebration for Sonic's birthday, a new open zone challenge, and a new Coco appears in the open zone. Now, for obviously, for the more uh, elephant in the, I don't know, elephant in the room or something like that, but obviously, celebration for Sonic's birthday. I don't know if it's going to be like so, uh, outfit, some more outfits for Sonic to celebrate his birthday, some potential redesigns from his past. Like, say, for instance, like how we have the Sonic Adventure two shoes or the the was it the Adventure boots and gloves, something like that, and also the holiday outfit. I think potentially. There's going to be maybe, I don't know, uh, we can have Sonic wearing the old school classic shoes. Like it was just the, it was only just the red shoes with the white stripe. There was no buckle. There was no white soles. It was just the red with white. Or potentially, mm, just as a little bit of a homage to Unleashed, he could potentially wear the spiked shoes that Sonic would wear whenever he was in his werehog form. But that's still up to debate. For the new open zone challenges, I have no idea what potentially those could be. That can be anything from like the little time uh the timed challenges from uh one uh, point A to point B or it could be something else completely entirely. And then for the new Coco appearing in the open zone, now I have a theory. I don't think this would be one of the... I don't think this new kind of Coco would be one of the smaller ones that Sonic would normally pick up whenever he's traveling around the Starfall Islands. I think this new Coco might be uh, one of the bigger Cocos, kind of like Elder Coco or Hermit Coco. So maybe, just maybe... This new Coco could appear and give Sonic a little bit of a more more power boost than the Elder Coco and the Hermit Coco can do already. But I don't know. There's so much stuff potentially in debate for that. But those are all stuff that hasn't already been confirmed because the celebrations, uh, the celebration for Sonic's birthday, the new open zone challenges, and the Coco were confirmed on the roadmap. The Spin Dash was confirmed to be making a return thanks to the Sonic Frontiers uh, lead director, Morio Kishimoto. But as far as like other potential updates that could happen in update two, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they add in more filters for the photo mode because at the moment we only have seven i want there to potentially be more to add in more life uh, more life into the pictures when you take a screenshot for sonic or i know obviously for updates uh, obviously there's going to be some patches and bug fixes so i don't doubt that's I don't doubt that's not going to happen. More than likely, that probably will, because all games still have some bugs and glitches, even uh, even newer ones, and they still try to iron them out as much as possible. And then, fingers crossed, they possibly add in just a couple more songs into the jukebox. For those of y'all that have seen 
my video for the jukebox. I love the jukebox the way it is, but I want them to at least like add a couple more songs into it. Specifically, some of the other vocal themes from Sonic Frontiers, because the only Sonic Frontiers song we have in the jukebox is I'm Here, which is the main theme for Frontiers. I want them to potentially add in the other, uh, like some of the other, like maybe some of the other vocal themes, like I want them to add in Undefeatable, I want them to add in Breakthrough at All, Find Your Flame, maybe even One Way Dream. The only one that I don't think they should probably put in the jukebox is Vandalize because of copyright and DMCA for content creators like moi. But if they add in uh, the other, like the Titan fights and the, like the Titan fight themes and the One Way Dream sung by Nathan Sharp, hats off to you, Nate. Uh, Nate. Um, there are some specific spots on the maps that I already have in mind of where the uh, music note would be, but just as a precaution, they probably will make it to where the music note won't appear until after you beat that island, if that makes sense. So, for Undefeatable, obviously, that would have to be on Kronos Island, and... After you beat Kronos Island, you can go back and pick up that music note. What I think would probably be the case is that it'll appear in the area around the, was it the Gravestone Light Mystery Puzzle? The, like, the one where you have to turn the tombstones in a specific way so that way the beam of light can hit the statue in the middle. That's what I think for Undefeatable. For Breakthrough It All, I think for Breakthrough It All, the music note, when you go back to Ares Island after you defeat Wyvern, the music uh, the music note will appear around the, uh, the little mystery puzzle with where you, uh, basically like the balls and the magnetic crane sort of thing. The... Like, the little puzzle that you do in order to unlock the pathway to the wyvern. And then for Find Your Flame, I think potentially, there once you go back to Chaos Island after defeating the knight, the music note will appear on a small ledge. Uh, well, yeah, it'll appear on a small ledge on... The side of the crater where the knight originally was. So that's what I'm thinking. And then, or was it uh, One Way Dream is the other one that I want added into the jukebox. I think potentially for One Way Dream, they can have it located on Oranos Island because obviously Oranos Island is the final island of the game. But for that one specifically, they don't need to necessarily make it. Uh, appear like after you beat the game and watch the credits they can just have it placed in the spot all ready to go what I'm thinking is they have it located on a small side piece where there's a cyberspace level and a hermit cocoa off to the side and they can have it located behind the cyberspace level area it's like in a small open green area. It, that's what I'm hoping potentially if they could update the jukebox for update two. And then for update three, we are obviously, for update three, we're obviously getting uh, the new playable characters in story mode, which also I'd like to point out that it has been confirmed that the uh, the per the guy who wrote the story script for Sonic Frontiers, Ian Flynn, is returning back for the story mode DLC, which I am very happy about because the Sonic Frontiers story script was perfect. Because it was referencing everything from past games along with other uh, Sonic media. Because if you were going around Kronos Island and you go to a certain spot... Sonic will stop in a second and say that I bet Tangle will love to climb around these ruins. Tangle, for those of you that, for those of you guys that don't know, Tangle is a lemur from the Sonic IDW comics. 
So if they add in more references to other Sonic media, I hope to God they reference something about the Sonic movie or some of the older Sonic cartoons, because that would be perfect. Other than that, I th if they decide to update the jukebox again for update 3, they could potentially put in maybe a song or two to reference Tails, Amy, and Knuckles, since they're going to be playable characters in update 3. I hope to God they add in Unknown From Me and Pumpkin Hill from Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 because of Knuckles. Maybe um, Mission Street and Believe in Myself for Tales from Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 1. And then obviously there's going to be, ugh, God forbid, My Sweet Passion because of Amy. But other than that, I have no idea what else could be happening for the Sonic Frontiers updates. But fingers crossed, and the first, the second update for Sonic's birthday, that's coming in next month because obviously they're going to release it in June to celebrate Sonic's birthday, which his birthday is specifically June 23rd. And actually, now that I think about it, update one was released on March 23rd. This one. Uh, update 2 for Sonic's birthday that potentially could come out on June 23rd. But if they follow the same pathing for Update 3, it, they could release it maybe somewhere around October 23rd and November 23rd to fit in the tie, as well as the one-year anniversary for Sonic Frontiers. So I think that would be perfect. But hey, if you guys have any other ideas for the Sonic Frontiers updates, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.